you guys welcome back to another video and as you can see right behind me is a foxtail palm i have i've been doing a little research online trying to find palm trees that i have but there's not much videos on them and there's not much vi vi videos on here i'm gonna do a video on the bird of paradise right after this one because it's just a wonderful palm tree to have but the fox soap on this one, it's not full grown yet, but it's not baby. It's like in the middle. It's been here since 2015 though. It's a pretty tall one. I would say it's close to almost full grown. It's... Having a seat is having, um, a uh, thing right here in the case that I knew it's really happy because look at this leaf. I don't know why they do that, but they have a seed pod right up there. So that will help produce its first flowers and its seeds. So you can, I, I, as I stated before, this one's not that old, but... <laughs> It's a pretty good one to do a video on, and there's not many foxtail palms around this area. So I will show you a better example of a more established and older one, and then I'll show you like a full grown one, like the, the tallest one that I've literally ever seen. I thought it was a royal palm at first. So I'll see you there. Right. And also, the first time I'm pretty much dating this but make sure to comment subscribe and turn on um, post notifications for this channel and whatever palm you want to see me do next maybe a royal palm a queen palm I've already done pay me day palm I could do a majesty palm I could do a tree too I've never done trees or I could do more sprinkler stuff but I was going by this is a established one right here. There's two of them. And then there's a third one over there that's just looking like really sad. Its leaves are all yellow. But these ones, I'd say I've been here for a good 20, 15 years. They big root systems like that right there. That one does too. And they also have way more branches and they have more seed pods because they're more mature and they have more of those strings. But, oh, and comment down below. Look at this hacking job in these bushes. It's just like sad to see that. Some landscapers come in, probably didn't know what they were doing. And I'll show you a more established one. Which is down the street. Bye. This is pretty much at full maturity age. Right here. It's taller. And you can see it's way happier than it was. It was growing up to probably here when it looks like it got really, like, really stressed. But then after a while, kind of adapted to it. And it just kept on getting bigger. And look at that trunk up there, too. There's three of them here. And I'm gonna do a new video like this lately. I just feel bad. Look at this. There's not a, even any leaves on these. Or like, whatever they are. I think they're fire thorns. Firebrush. But look at these poor ones. So I think I'll come back every week and check on them, make sure that hopefully they'll survive, just to see the weekly update. Now I'll show you another one. Bye. Okay guys, and this is the second to last one that I want to look at right here. This one is probably one of the tallest ones in our community. I mean, just look at those leaves on that thing. 
and as you can see they have berries on them. They get the berries will eventually get red. And they turn to a reddish color and then they'll fall on them. But a normal size, that one, it just like really love that corner. Because most of them, they normally look about like this one right here. That's one of the biggest ones I've seen. I'll show you the absolute biggest ones I've seen. I thought they're royal bombs at first, they're that big. And I'll meet you over there. Bye. And guys, look how big that one is. At first, I thought they're royal palms for a long time, but then they happen to be three Pexo palms from Google. So, I um, always remember to like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. Oh my god, I almost stepped in this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.